So in summary, all three programs that we've described today have demonstrated consistent expression of micro or mini dystrophin in the transgene. And all three programs have demonstrated either stabilization or improvement of patients' uh, functional outcome measures, which contrasts with what we would expect from untreated patients. Thus far, the focus has really been on ambulatory patients, and thus the North Star Ambulatory Assessment has been one of the main outcome measures that have been used for these patients. I am interested to see data on more advanced non-ambulatory patients uh, using some of the other measures like the upper limb function uh, measures or the pulmonary uh, function outcomes that we've discussed. I don't believe there's enough evidence to conclude that one product has superior efficacy over the others. At this point, we have seen some safety signals with regard to complement mediated thrombotic microangiopathy or TMA, as well as liver function abnormalities and autoimmune myositis. The autoimmune myositis appears to be related to the individual patient's mutation. And moving forward, each gene therapy product will exclude patients with certain mutations. And because each of these therapies will likely exclude certain mutations, we would want, in the ideal world, to have all three of these gene therapy products that are currently under investigation to be available uh, to minimize the number of Duchenne patients that would need to be excluded from gene, ther gene therapy treatment in the future. Um, there are additional questions that we have not addressed. Um, how do we dose patients who have pre-existing autoantibodies, if we can at all? And how, will the, how long will the transgene expression last in the muscle? And finally, will we be able to redose patients should we want to in the future? as there may be concerns that perhaps the efficacy of gene therapy uh, would not uh, last forever. I am optimistic that we'll be able to answer these questions in the future. And by answering this que these questions, I believe that we'll be, able to, um, we'll be able to optimize the treatment of gene therapy for Duchenne muscular dystrophy patients in the future.